ready. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts in the house. We are here. Season 5, Episode 3. It's been a long day so far for me. I'm looking forward to seeing more of Prison Break here, man. Not going to do a long intro this time. Um, just know, guys, that we are starting. Um, by the time you're watching this, we've started other series already over on the Patreon and membership as well. Gamora, Lost. Um, I, I was about to say Made Men. <laughs> Mad Men, right? Um, and some other series as well. Um, of course, we're watching some exclusive stuff over there as well. I'm gonna be also watching if you want. If you want to see the exclusive, um, like I'm gonna be reacting to like the back, like some some featurettes and stuff like that from the collection from Prison Break and check those things out. How it was made. You know what I'm saying? Some commentary from the directors and, and the actors and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing that, but that's going to be exclusively on Patreon and early access. So make sure you go check it out. Anyways, let's jump into the reaction and I will see you guys at the end for the review. Gonna help this nigga escape. It's not a good look, Michael. Oh, that's the kid that was spying on him. Is that gum? He says bubblegum man sent him. Bubblegum. Someone in the prison he hasn't met, but gives him gum in exchange for errands. He can have the whole lot. If he keeps the messages coming. <laughs> Thank you, Tic Tac Man. <laughs> it's a passage from the Surah. And Yusuf said to the prisoner, remember me in the presence of your Lord. But Satan made him forget, and Yusuf stayed in prison for several years. The calligraphy is unusual. The spacing, the way it's shaped, like, like spokes on a wheel. Like the center of Sana. He's trying to give us a location. Location for what? The only thing I can think of is where we're supposed to meet him when the escape goes down tonight. See. If I'm getting anybody any tickets, it's these kids, not your mercenary brother. And how are you gonna do that without any money? You're holding these kids' freedom over my head, is that it? Sheba, you give me those plane tickets and I'll pay for every single one of these kids to get out of this country. Something tells me that's what you want to do, Ania. Careful. You're accusing me of having a heart. And she looks like she's starting to like the link. The, the, the sink. <laughs> That's what they call it. Hours till we get this out. dude is Just annoying today. as hell, bro. That's what I am. We get through today, we're on the bricks. And what? It was four years ago. All of our plans, the passports, the shop, everything is probably under rubble by now. I don't know how you deal with someone who's so annoying, bro. No trust whatsoever. No confidence, man. Panic Central. Question is, what was he using this place for? Planning his escape. He was getting up over Maul out. This guy is an enemy of everything that's civilized, Link. Who in the hell are we breaking out? Is it Michael Schofield or Kenya Lautis? I know one thing, Link don't care. Oh. 
Really, my day? Bruh. Designed to make Otis reach out to her. Now all we gotta do is listen in. Find out what his plans are. That's crazy. Olivia. I come as a compatriot, Sarah. Get out of my way or I'll scream. Last thing I want. For your information, I know about Kenyo Otis. Tell me what you know. The day I hit the bricks from Fox River, someone named Outis, out of the goodness of their soul, unsolicited, pays for this modern prosthesis. I looked up Outis on the interwebs, whose face comes up at your dead ex-husband's looking very much alive. Lazarus arisen from the dead. He's drawn us into something, isn't he? He wants something, doesn't he? Come near me or my family again, I will kill you. Better to have me on your side, Sarah. We can figure this out together. Amazing you still trust him. He will use you for the escape and he will leave you. No one's escaping. Who are you? A man who knows your friend there more than anyone in this prison. I was in solitary with him for years. Yes, so was I. But not in the cell across from him. He told me about the escape. But I told him no. I would not leave my brother. That is the army in me. Christian in me. He is an opportunist. Oh, he Christian. He whoever he needs. He has told you something about the escape. I know he has. You were in the cell with him. You. You tell me. So I can I love how you're trying to whisper this, him. but it's loud as hell. I'm pretty sure everybody around. We need passports, Omar. You think you can help us? Hold on. We don't trust yeah. this guy. He's the one who stole my passport in the first place. It was honest bargaining, friend. I took nothing. Really? Besides, uh, your passport is long gone. Somewhere far overseas by now, I bet. I need two passports. One for me, one for my brother, Michael Schofield. One thousand US dollar each deposit. One thousand US dollar when you pick them up. See? If you screw with me and I'll kill you. I screw you. I won't be around for you to keep me. And I'll go with our friend here to the power plant and kill the lights. And we get Michael out. Uh, you, um, you fix phones too, right? Yeah. I think somebody hacked my cell. Whoa. Is there any chance you can help me figure out who? The Christian guy said you told him you'd just take him. No one else. He's a liar. You don't want anything to do with him. I don't know. Christian, Arnie, seems pretty upfront to me. I have news for you, buddy. Christian's lie. <laughs> a lot. Wearing a cross is one thing, living light is another. Okay. Why are we still getting him out? We're telling him we're getting him out. There's a difference. We're gonna act like we're on his side until the moment we're not. Well, what if you're acting like you're on my side to the moment you're not? You were getting paranoid. Yeah, well, four years in the box is gonna do that to you. Get your hands off me. Hands is now. I'm serious. Okay. No! I said don't touch me! Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> we're far from good. Gonna steal this man's watch like that. 
By tomorrow, we won't have to worry about him. I'm sorry I hit you. I can explain. Can you explain why you were going to let that man kill me? I wouldn't have let him. There are people in my government, believe it or not, who want that man out for their own convoluted foreign policy over here. That's the job Whip and I were sent here to do, but for some reason, we were betrayed. Which means we're getting out without Ramal. Getting over that wall is just the start. Once that happens, there are things only you can do. Back on point. You hit me. You wanted proof that I sided with this you and not Ramal. It's spooning my left eye. I, I swear to God, this dude is like a. I don't even know what to call him. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> How? Son of a bitch, Kanyal artist keeps playing, doesn't he? I'm going to break you in half when I find that watch, you know? Toss the cell. Order a lockdown of the whole prison. No one gets out of their cells until that watch is found. Erjan is in Zante. I told you Ramal is not going anywhere, only we are. We're gonna be locked in our box just like the rest of them, only our box has a way out. And in two hours, when those lights go black, we're gonna disappear from this place like ghosts. Yeah, all right. Yo, this dude is a bitch, man. <laughs> What it's like to have a non cooperative wife. Who are these men? Constantly nagging, panicking about everything that's going on. They're beneath you. You're beneath me. You and I have a history. How I doted on you in grade school. How I waited and I waited. You did not wait. You tried to rape me! Oh. Please, please untie me, so I can take your other eye. Ooh. I'm looking for a cell phone that a woman stole from me. She looks like this. No, can't help you. Can't? I won't. Sorry, store policy, that's all. Hey, what are you doing? Let's go again. I'm always wondering, bruh. In in this situation, there it ain't no damn way in hell. Ain't no woman wait. This woman look like she weigh like what? Uh like maybe one twenty. Wet. Handling me like this? Oh hell no! Nah. You gonna have to pull a gun on me? Not with no fists. Okay, you're going to have to pull a gun on me because ain't no way you would have been able to yeah, and do all of that. And and, and a lot of times you see the stuff in, in TV shows, it's, it's just so unreal. You just got to just go with it because it's so unrealistic. Because ain't no man, that man has at least 100 pounds on this woman, bro. At least. And y'all here acting like this? Damn. Yes, yes. Really, Who's my here? guy? 10 minutes ago. Phone was I will drag room. you across no, this knows. counter, woman. She baited us. Yep. Hey. Yeah, she out, she bro. Beside and they'll just let us kill her. It might come to that. Damn, well hidden. Come on, oh, give me one sec. Sorry. Hello? Uh, hi, this is Brian at Jeff's. I got this number when I activated your new phone. Who? You. Act your own phone. What are you talking about? How? This is your password, right? Well, whoever hacked your phone used your thumbprint. So, unless you're missing a thumb. That's you. Oh, come on, up. Kellerman? Sarah, this has police written all over it. Police haven't been able to do a thing. So what, you went to Jeps Electronics and some hackneyed attempt at counter-espionage? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just... You want to get back at these guys? 
The university. I mean, it has real resources, a computer sciences department. The phone's down. It's going to stay at Jeff's. So that's your plan, just bury your head in the sand. Nigga, what? <laughs> Which one's this? The one you accosted in a bathroom. <laughs> that wasn't a costume, honey. I've learned some things about who it is we're apparently both looking for. But I need to know that you're willing to go the distance. Bo. Kellerman behind this? And you are going to get every shred of information you can about what's really going on. Look, I'm just going to say one thing, okay? Like a brother to me. Like an older brother. Sure don't like act like it. Brother. Sure, point is, I had zero. Nobody until you recruited me. Did something happen to you while you were in solitary? Did you become Ken Loudis in there in your head? Let me go up through that hole. And then we skirt above the block. Goes right above Ramon's cell, doesn't it? Knock out a couple tiles. And you want to escape, doesn't he? Nine minutes. All of a sudden, you <laughs> How do you know? trying to be smart. He told me at dinner. He said it would come for us. It's supposed to be only me. But you would all be coming. <laughs> he put, he put the watch on him. Found the Mustafa. Was in the Emir's court here. You the oh, Amir. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I want to go old school. Kind of nuts. They're trying to escape without us. Get to their cell. Block six. Come on. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Flashlights. Secure every room. Shoot only if you have to. And if you do, shoot to kill. Get off me, you It's easier if you don't struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Really out here yeah. going to try to do it again? No. Come on, Sheeta. Oh my god, Lincoln, you gotta get to Sheba. You're going to die this now, dude is dog. a bitch, dude. Get his ass, Link. Mm, 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 mm. That's it? Sheba. That's it's me, it's me. Are you okay? Get to the rendezvous. The auto shot. You ain't gonna make it. She was busted up real bad. What happened? Just get to the rendezvous. We gotta be there for Michael, damn it. Guys are trying to get into the cell. Cell down. What's wrong? People coming. Damn it, we got guards up here. Try and buy us some time. I'm taking care of it. <laughs> no, they're escaping, honey. Please, we have to they will get up. <laughs> you have to stand up, up. Make sure they don't get up. That man said, please, we're Christians. The They'll kill us. How we do it? Not good. God, you're even closer. Just know how this works. You pull my brother up first. Hurry, no man is coming. Take your hand. I swear I'm gonna... The kid comes up first. No. <sighs> no. Step away. Step away. No. 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 Damn it, man. What are you doing in this cell? They're on the roof. Damn, failed attempt. This dude lost his brother. 
I trusted you, Kegel Artis, and you lied to me. My God. And my armies of the Caliphate, you will die for it. Maybe even tomorrow. Sarah. I'm putting you in danger by saying this. But maybe it doesn't matter because I'll be dead. And they'll leave you alone. But I love you. You'll see I left here. You get caught up in all this. It was for you. Did they approach him before he broke Sarah out of prison? Don't let the book can heal out of some of it still. Because that's never a one who wants. This is crazy. My real name. You need to hurry up because 2% the man I have always been. on no phone is letting you take a video this long. <laughs> Michael Schofield. Excellent episode. Excellent episode once again. Never ceases to amaze me. I still want to know what what happened. Um, what happened with Michael? Do I still want to know what happened? How did you get in this position, my guy? What happened? How did we get here? Did they approach you before? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like this is something that he had to do before. Like he had to do like they approached them during the prison him getting Sarah out of prison or something before that seems like he was approached or or is either they found him inside of the prison unconscious and they decided oh let's use him this is Michael Schofield and he got involved with the CIA and that's what I was thinking that maybe the CIA like recruited him or something um through some other channel or whatever the situation is maybe maybe he doesn't remember who he is but obviously he does um it was a lot of theories and i was partially right about some of it i guess um but other than that man great episode kind of sucks that he didn't get out and that's because you know what i'm saying like the whole riot situation that happened in the, in the prison not really riot, but you get it um the confusion wasn't enough you know what i'm saying and you know what's his name cabal cabal <laughs> um i can't remember his name right now but the bad guy right the, the radicalist he's he he's the one that caused all all of the situation to happen he was like oh go ahead they're planning to leave without us um, they got to the cell, kill the Christian dude's brother. Um, freaking Sid got left, but all of them got left behind regardless. Um, this is crazy because now they're not out. Now we're in a tizzy now because they're going to have to figure out a way to get Michael out because now it's not Michael's plan. Michael's plan is not going to work now because the plan that he had to get them out just failed of course they're gonna put more countermeasures now towards that so he can't get out this way so they're gonna have to figure out a way to get him out i mean it's only nine episodes this season and this was episode three so i don't know man i don't know but incredible nonetheless i'm very much so entertained as i've always been with this series i mean in my opinion, if you love season one of this show, you should love season five. But I think a lot of people didn't give it the chance. You get what I'm saying? I think if you love season one of this show, there's no way you don't like season three and season five because they both, you know what I'm saying, along the same theme of them breaking out of prison. So if that's what you liked about the show and then you're saying that it deteriorated, then this should be right in your wheelhouse right but i guess people just didn't come back to the show um i think they are aspects of the show that you know you know what i'm saying no show is without flaw you know what i'm saying because even when i give shows a 10 out of 10 it doesn't mean that they doesn't have flaw it's just that they did the things that were great greatly throughout you get what i'm saying it doesn't mean that there's no flaw because every show you can find a fault you can nitpick you can find things about it that doesn't work there's no perfect tv show out there but the reason why you i give a show 
10 out of 10, don't want to speak for anybody else is because if you do those things that you're doing, you establish a storyline and you do those things consistently throughout the show and you don't drop that quality, you're going to get a 10 from me. Seriously. So it is what it is. There's plenty of shows that I've watched in the past that really does deteriorate over the course of the season, but since I still watch them to the end just to see what happens. You get what I'm saying? I don't just drop shows because oh it's just terrible sometimes some tv shows has been going on for too long it's kind of like when i stopped watching supernatural um you know what i'm saying that show they tell me it gets better right which is something i, I may go back to it to see what really happened i don't know if I, I will do that on the channel because it's been so long since i've seen that show i don't think i would ever go back to watching it um but I'll probably just do it on my own time, get back into it or whatever, because I watched that show for plenty of seasons. You know what I'm saying? I think I watched it up to like season seven or something like that. I don't remember exactly what season I stopped watching it, but uh, I don't even know if it's still going on, to be honest, because, you know, it's one of those shows or whatever. So it's just that for me, when it comes on to prison break, like, I feel like it's very concise. Now, is this on, you know, five seasons of Breaking Bad kind of level? No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. And, and that's why I said that um, even after I watch this season, I will let you guys know. I told you guys that, I, you know, after season four, that it didn't crack my top 10 TV shows of all time. You know what I'm saying? My, my top 10. I, I know a lot of you guys had this as a number one show number one tv shows of all time and what i would recommend to you guys that have that watch more shows and watch other things okay because in in my opinion no <laughs> in my opinion and that as i said that's subjective you know you might hold prison break dear to your heart and you want to say it's the number one tv show of all time but um and it all depends on what you enjoy versus what you don't enjoy but I would recommend you guys check out some of the, the the shows that I've watched on the channel as well on my original channel. You guys can go there and check out all the reactions that are just a ton of TV shows that I've done in the past that is not on this channel here, Terabyte Reacts and Gaming. So make sure you go, even though I don't, I, I don't even do gaming on this channel. I don't even know why I, I have gaming, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a little bit more before I switch it over. To just terabyte reacts but we'll see how things go in any way guys appreciate you guys so much thank you guys so much for tuning in incredible episode i want to know what's going to be the aftermath of all of this them not escaping of course i feel so bad for she but people dudes like that that you know what i'm saying they can't get a girl so that's what they choose to do um i'm gonna rape them i'm gonna take advantage of them dudes that do stuff like that i want to see them get the worst beating don't kill them just beat them to an inch of their life we'll be good people like that deserve that kind of stuff anyways i will see you guys next time for some more like comment peace